Hmm. Yeah. Human energy feedback loop. Well, that's why the assassin raiders only captured extremely good looking prisoners of war, men, women. Oh, yeah. On the plains beyond where? Whoosh, those Elber Mountains. <laughs> You'd know where they were if you had the book. Uh, yeah, beyond the Elbers. Okay. Um, so. Uh, these prisoners of war are forced, you know, to smoke a hookah of that primo Balkistani Maziri Axiania. Hashish from Afghanistan with a little assassin pot sprinkled on the top. Yeah, yeah, you would have to smoke it. And uh, the captive there said, look, you're going to die. You're going to die smoking and having fun, or we're just going to slit your <laughs> fourth they, they want to die happy. Okay. Um, so everybody at the hookah session blasts off, and they said if their kismet is good, it's like karma in Persia. If their kismet is good, uh, instead of dying, they will ascend to the pleasure garden of Hashishan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the inventive, this is so revolutionary concept about this secret garden is that your, I'm saying physical body itself, one of these, is able to survive the passage to heaven, the body itself. You can continue to enjoy body paradise and uh, 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 his converted uh, 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 deathless warriors go berserk if they're in uh, a lucky wave of it all. Yeah, on the summit. This is where Hashishan himself takes over. Mm -hmm. uh, the old man offers his fidai <laughs> warriors. Uh, they place his body, he's out, unconscious, knocked himself out, cough into death. It was the strong drugs. Uh, they put, slab him down on a padded, really soft divan in, uh, in the pleasure dome. And then uh, 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 he's got uh, like a music, a uh, 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 dance manager, kind of a medieval DJ going on with the Celtic dance music in the background. And uh, the free women around are just, you know, whatever feels good. Oh, yeah, and uh, there's the sound of this trickling stream. <clears throat> you know, a bubbling stream if you're a Persian. And you've eaten a lot of sand as a young kid. You know, bubbling stream sounds <laughs> like a soothing folk memory of that lost oasis found. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, then, dramatically, Hashishan lifts the hood from your head. Uh, and a harem... Uh, devotee of Hashishan uh, with luscious bosom mm -hmm. clad in a burgundy nightgown mm -hmm. with gold trim and no panties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's Celtic. There's myrrh. They're burning myrrh. Frank frankincense and the music and the hashes. And, uh, and when, 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 when you open your groggy eyes, it's like they're holding up these huge pictures. Sexually explicit, erotic, uh, you know, Arabic, Muslims in India painting these little miniature nude uh, get it on scenes. You know, only these are big books. I mean, these are more than coffee table books. They're like 20 times bigger than a coffee table book. You know, you could drive a donkey through <coughs> one of these books. It's that big, huh? 
well, the temple women who are looking for a good time themselves, I mean, fresh warriors, just unhooded, beyond being a virgin? Yeah, uh, we're... <laughs> Open the gate. Uh, uh, they're going to light your fire. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. With another hookah of mind-boggling hatch. Why? I mean, isn't it already... Uh, but no, that's to ground you, to taper off, you know? You drink too much Jack Daniels whiskey last night? What are you doing in the morning, huh? You better drink a beer. Get back on track. Because you might have to go to <laughs> work. Uh, yeah, old man. He's right there. He's like right in your eyes. You wake up. He's the first thing you see. He's like, God, you're in heaven. There's God. And he's, he's complimenting you on surviving. <laughs> Being captured, <clears throat> transported, drugged to death. And then <laughs> you got to open your eyes, man, because you were killed yesterday. How's she trying to say? Look, you were killed yesterday? You realize that what that means? You've gone to heaven that you can never be killed again. Let that sink in. You know. Let, let, let it sink in. You see the hashish there? You see the hashish part? Is that covered? See the hashish part? There's one of the temple adepts. Huh? What's this all about? The hippie history of hashish by Earthman. Well, this, yeah, this is the vibe, huh? Uh, Hashishan has taken over control of your will and life. Yeah. He's drugged you into believing. You are living in an after-earth paradise? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And therefore, no man can kill you. Wow. Because you're already dead. Uh, he invents the perfect psychological... <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Terrorist commandos. Mm -hmm. And while you are absorbing this, uh, a beautiful, naked Persian woman, a courtesan of Ashishan, mounts your stiffening beast. And she... Camel humps you to Mazari Sherry or wherever you want to go. Well, Hashi Chan heads for the uh, X rated bibliotech. He's got to have a serious meditation. Yeah, because, uh, well, first of all, let's, let's smoke a nice big hook. Uh, it's a picture of him in the book doing that. But you, you can't see. It'd be too intense. It's all this. Uh, yeah, because uh, he has to plot an assassination by sending his knife-wielding <laughs> assassins to uh, Aleppo, Syria. Has anybody heard of Aleppo? I've been there, by the way. <laughs> In 1967, Aleppo, Baghdad. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a Grand Master of the Crusaders. Thinks he's a big shot, Templar Knight. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And he's got backup from uh, Knights of St. John from Rhodes, Greece. He's going to get his throat. And he's going to bleed to death. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, he's in there smoking a hookah. The new recruits up there <coughs> riding his camel to Mazar.
until he <laughs> reaches. <laughs> oh yeah, the the Oxus River. Yeah, let's put a blanket down by the river right now, so I could just use a refill anytime. All of rock, power, fame of the first Grand Master Hashishan Yip Sabah Ajiba Sabah. <coughs> the bedwetter. Uh, yeah, and he expands his rock fortress. Not these 50 little mini ones between Karambat, Shustakant, and Gosvin. Uh, yeah. He expands how far? As far as the Levant, the swamps of the Levant, the reeds, and the Baker Valley forests of cannabis. Lebanese blonde. They like that. Sprinkle that on top. Very heretical assassins now. Don't follow any Muslim rules. Don't call to pray. Don't. Uh, they take over Ismaili, <clears throat> sect of Islamic judicialists in Syria and govern them independently. Hello? Independently from the Persian Shah? Mullah Khan? Like, shove it up your ass? I rule here? We'll make a, a saddlebags out of any tax collectors you send my way. Assassins, world masters with knives. Look, nobody, there's no like bang, bang guns. Uh, you know, you got bow and arrows, you got knives, you got spears, swords, uh, large old uh, rusty hinges from massive uh, uh, gates, shoes, uh, you know. Uh, they're the master of knives, okay? They leave their shoes on. They're Aladdin slippers when they <laughs> sneak around. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And um, the assassins, yeah, uh, they they hated the Templar Knights. The Templar Knights uh, recruited some of them. Uh, on the sly. They actually infiltrated the Templar Knights and took over the organization from the inside. It was a hostile takeover, but the Knights didn't even know it. Uh, yeah, so what happened? So that, the, the chroniclers of the Crusades, you know, they had these rolls of papyrus and stuff. You, you pluck a goose, you stick it in some whale's ink, and you write up the Crusades, hugest story of the Middle Ages. Yeah, they go way off from there on horses to Jerusalem. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, they wrote about the old man of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Gruesome tales, nefarious, <laughs> political murders. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, with the aroma of what? <laughs> Burning, burning hemp, wafting, wafting, from where? From the murder scene, that's where. Well, they had a hot story, and they, they, and they ran it over and over again. The Hidden Garden on the Rock of Alamot, <laughs> about Hashishan's innovative method of Motivating terrorists. Brainwashing prisoners of war. Through the smoking of an unknown, it's satanic substance. Are you beginning to see, you know, how some of this caused a little, like, fissure in the alcohol hashish cultural tectonic place grinding away? 
You just couldn't set your you set your false teeth in the jar. Sleep it off overnight. Grinding around too much. And this is where we got. Okay, this okay, listen up. This is like big. This is like the nugget of the story right here is that the word hashish sound familiar? Almost sounds like hashish. Assassin, does that sound? Look, both those words are corruptions of the name Hashishan, a fatal association of terms, linking hashish with a murder and violence, hashish, violence, violence, hashish, assassin, hashish, hashish, hashish. Well, um, yeah, the fearless commandos of Hashishan, uh huh. They couldn't say Hashishan either when they were what really sound, huh? Forget the age, just Hashishan, assassin. So, and like the alcohol uh, retarded uh, crusaders kept slurring the age when drunk. You, know, you could be stoned, you could be drunk, you still can't say his goddamn name most of the time. Oh. Well, um, well, look, this bizarre comparison <laughs> between the Templar Knights and the uh, Assassins of Hashishan. Fan nasty rumor. Oh, yeah. In Europe. <laughs> because the Order of the Night and the Order of the Assassins happens to be identical from the inside. Looks like an inside job. Yeah. Oh, I mean, they're both uh, run by grandmasters, for example. The top crusader guy is the grandmaster of the, yeah, his crusade uh, sect, you know. So, uh, yeah, uh, and this later uh, led to the bankruptcy and the persecution of the Templar Knights and just get them out of here. They smell too much like hashish, Templar Knights. Looks like a bunch of hippies looking for a party over in Beirut. <laughs> 